Hey guys, hello world, hello YouTube. So today I'm going to cover a class struggle. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Class struggle. In the capitalist system, the interests of the ruling class and the working class are always opposed. The ruling class seek to tighten their grip on us, to gain more control, to get more profit. The, the working class seek to get out from under our bosses and our governments, to gain control over our own lives. There will always be conflict between these groups, whether one, whether on a small or a mass scale. This conflict takes many forms. Most obviously, it happens in a place where we work. Strikes over wages and working practices clearly pit the interests of the group of bosses against the, the group of workers. However, the class struggle is much more than this. Capitalism seeks to control and profit, control and profit from all aspects of, of life. Our homes are bought, sold, and rented for profit. The food we eat and the water we drink is privately owned and controlled. Our environment becomes a vast dumping ground for industry, valued only for profit, not for the way it enables the it, it enables and enriches our lives. Whenever we struggle for control over some aspects of our lives, we are uh, we are engaging in class struggle. We when we fight for our communities, our our. Um, when we fight for our communities or our environment, we are fighting the class struggle. It follows from this that we don't use the idea of class in the same way as many people, uh, particularly in the press. Class is not about the fact that some people earn more money than others or that some people go to different kinds of schools. These basically psycho psychological definitions of class, definitions loved by advertisers, managers, and so on, are used to hide the, the real nature of class. We don't, we, we don't just see the working class as being people with traditional manual or industrial jobs. If someone is not currently working, but dependent on pitiful state benefits, and so under continual pressure to find work and education, training for work, or living on their pension, deferred wages, they, then their situation is obviously very different from that of the idle rich who are able to live a comfortable life off the backs of others, such as landlords equally Many people in jobs that are traditionally seen as middle class, such as teachers, have no real control over their lives or the work they do and are forced to struggle against their employers just like the rest of the working class. This confusion about the idea of class is part of the wider set of tactics that the ruling class uses to disguise the reality of class from the people that it exploits. Capitalism needs workers, workers in the way the workers simply do not need capitalism. If the, if the working class unites around its common interests, then it can do away with the ruling class and run society itself. We, do, we don't need them, but they need us. Because of this, the ruling class works hard to divide us against each other. It does, it does this in two ways, partly through trying to control ideas and the way we think about ourselves and partly through the creating small differences in power, wealth and wealth that set working class people against each other. Things like nationalism, the idea that we should be loyal to a state in one country simply because we were born there, our work ethic, the idea that we owe the fair day's work to the boss that explo that's exploiting us are used by the ruling class to divide the working class and make some of the make some of us feel more loyal to the bosses than to the people around nationalism. Split uh, na nationalism splits workers into in the one country off from workers in another and lies the root of racism. The splits to workers along lines of skin color. The work ethic ties us to the boss instead of each other and makes it makes the people despise the lazy unemployed rather than putting the blame where it really belongs.
the use of the ideas split um, the use of the ideas split to split the working class is reinforced by creating different differences in the power of the wealth and to back them up and to back them wealth to back them up on a large scale workers in the west are made to compete and with workers in the global south for jobs as factories move in search of cheap cheapest labor costs on smaller scales individual workers are given a little bit more pay to become su subservient supervisors and end up sh shafting those around them just to keep the little bit extra this kind of thing happens in many different ways but the end result is always the same. Working class people compete for scraps while the ruling class skims vast profits off the top and throws us a few leftovers to keep us fighting each other rather than them. To fight the class struggle then is to try to overcome the false differences that is ruling class creates and unite as one class against the people that exploit us. This is a process, this process that goes on all the time. Sometimes we become strong and united as a class and are unable and able to take to get concessions like shorter day working days, health care and so on. The ruling class fights back and exploits our divisions to break this unity. Weakening the class and undoing the gains we have made are even worse, turning them against us. This push and, and pull between the ruling class and the working class will go on until capitalism disappears. In the next video, I'll be going into the state. Thanks for the time and consideration on this video, you guys.